What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. It's been a while since I've made an update video for everybody waiting for a jailbreak. I said I'd make one, I never really did because there just hasn't been much to share. Now that iOS 9.3 is here, I wanted to talk to you guys about iOS 9.3, 9.2.1, and 9.2 jailbreak. Where are they? What is going on? It cannot possibly take this long, can it? Well, uh, this is officially, I believe, the longest we've ever waited for a jailbreak. And, uh, you know, it's been so dang long since 9.0.2 has been jailbreakable. So what is going on? iOS 9.3 just dropped. That makes things a little bit more interesting and immediately we might be seeing 9.3.1. So just a little bit ago, Apple took down a lot of the updates for 4S, 5, 5S phones, a lot of the smaller, more low-end phones, as well as iPad Air 3 and below. So basically, they stopped signing the firmware for these devices, meaning 9.3.1 is imminent. Now, why did they stop signing these firmwares? Well, a lot of people are having issues downloading them. So they'll download them, they'll update, and then they'll get stuck on a passcode screen unable to progress for uh, it's either iCloud or their App Store login. They just can't get past it. So a lot of people are getting stuck on this update process. And overall, it's just been very problematic for these guys. So Apple took down those devices from being signed. It's unknown whether or not 9.3.1 will be released for just these older devices or for every device, because it seems like 9.3.1 is needed. There's a lot of bugs some people are experiencing. But overall, for me, it's been a smooth update. Anyways, so in the past, we've talked about 9.3 release being the point where from there we'll know what's going on. So far, there hasn't been any word from Pangu, Taiji, nobody. But one thing is sure, ENMTW has proven himself to be the false prophet. So he has no jailbreak. He has not spoken of anything. His claims that he would release 9.2.1 jailbreak before the release of 9.3 have proven to be false. There is no reason to trust this guy. He has no credibility. He's been called fake. So, you know, if you had hope in him, dissolve it right now. That is not happening. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but he gave me a lot of hope. So Luca Tedesco is the only one that's proven himself to have this jailbreak with video evidence as well. Of course, he has no intention of releasing him. Now, Pangu. Pangu has released that 9.1 jailbreak, and I have it running. However, I gotta say, it's been a little bit of a problem. Problematic jailbreak. So I have experienced the boot loop on my device. Sometimes it'll randomly restart, but in general, it hasn't been a bad update but 9.1 has seen a jailbreak thanks to Pangu. They even released a new tool and an update uh, for stability and it's made it a little bit better. So my point is Pangu is the only reliable option that's actually proven to have action right now. You know, they've released this jailbreak, they've released an Apple TV 4 and 3 jailbreak on 9.0.1 for their device version. They're moving forward, they have progress, actually doing stuff with uh, jailbreak related. Now they don't announce when they're releasing something or what they're working on. There's not much I can tell you in terms of a release date, but Pangu is the only team that's working on a jailbreak and we might see the next jailbreak from them. So let's say theoretically there was a jailbreak. Where would it be? 9.2 or 9.2.1? If you're on 9.2, stay there. Do not update to 9.2.1 or 9.3. If you're on 9.2.1, stay there. Don't go to 9.3 because iOS 9.3 actually patches seven or eight kernel bugs, I believe. So uh, kernel bugs being the ones that allow for root access to the phone, the most difficult ones to find. And in the actual security patch, we can count, I believe seven in here. So the kernel bugs are right here. Uh, they're all 4S and below or above and there's a ton in here. So 9.3 already in the security patch notes is more difficult to jailbreak. It's the one that's gonna be the hardest jailbreak. So if there ever was a jailbreak, it would be 9.2, 9.2.1. And just like Pangu has proven with the 9.1 jailbreak, it can happen at any time. We have no warnings. So, you know, better safe than sorry, stay on 9.2 or 9.2.1, whichever one you're at, if you want the hope of a jailbreak. If you are gonna update to 9.3, do it over iTunes. Don't go and update from settings because that could make the jailbreak impossible or more difficult in the future for you. Now, if you're on 9.3 right now, you can still downgrade. It's just as simple as shift, click, update, or restore back to that firmware through iTunes as long as it's being signed. So I urge you, stay on 9.2.1. So I'm sorry I don't have anything more for you. The reason I don't make much of these anymore is because there's just not much to share. I don't wanna be getting your hopes up all the time, but you know I am still keeping an eye out for it. Once it drops, 
I'll have everything you need to know about it, guys. So stay tuned for any more news on the jailbreak. Hopefully something happens here. As soon as 9.3.1 drops, whatever the next firmware may be, we're gonna see something, guys. And I'm so, so excited for that. Stay tuned. Peace.